lives and livelihoods on the line because of the climate change that we've already got, the global warming we've already got. Uh, and, you know, we, we talk about keeping 1.5 alive. I mean, you know, let's not kid ourselves. 1.5 is, even at that temperature goal, is going to be bad news for very many millions yes. of people. As we make it more personal and we really understand how this is affecting the current lives of people around the planet, to not even mention future, um, it really does make a difference. One of the things that you emphasize and others emphasize uh, was that you've got to build the trust. Uh, and people made the point that, you know, this is a really precious commodity in these discussions. And if you do not have the trust, you are not going to be able to hold all the parties together and get this over the line. I think you and I would share the pain that the trust that was built inside, let's call it, inside the formal process is not a trust that is reflected outside. And it seems to me that now, as we go into the post-COP26 work and uh, preparations for COP27, that continues to be the huge challenge. Countries did step up, emissions trajectories came down. Of course, it's not yet 1.5. If we're gonna get that number much lower, we're gonna have to see pretty chunky step ups from big economies in the next 12 months. For those where no mechanism currently exists, how do we track this so we can demonstrate to people that at the end of this process, it isn't just about making commitments, but also uh, ensuring that the actions come through. This whole process is a bit like playing Jenga, uh, where, you know- <laughs> if What you, an image, if you, oh! Right, if you pull out, uh, one piece, the whole thing can collapse. There you have been at the center of it. That extraordinary experience. I just wanted to ask how it might have influenced you or changed you. What has galvanized me is, you know, meeting people. And I wish, I wish that is something that we could get everyone who is skeptical about this to experience. Mm. Actually talk to people yeah. on the front line.